this is Mikado, and that was Trua showing off their size, speed, power. Milani, Malia, Trua, and Mikayo. Mikayo with their youngest at 10 years old, followed by Malia and Milani who are 14. Trua is 15, and our oldest is Mikayo and Milani's mom, Katina. She's 44 years old. Katina is the matriarch, or the leader of our pod. Our girls trust us, and they take an active role in their own health and well-being. Through positive reinforcement training techniques, we teach them husbandry or healthcare behaviors. One of the first things that we teach our whales to do is called a fluke present, where they present their tail flukes to the trainer. We're going to demonstrate with Stacy and Mikhail here in the slide eye. So not only does this body uh, posture allow us to get a good look at their entire body, but it's also going to give us access to blood vessels, which are very easy to see on the white undersides of their tail flukes. Our veterinarians collect the voluntary blood sample at least once a month, and the whales are taught to stay calm and relaxed throughout, just like this. Now this afternoon, you can see Stacy is giving Mikhail a nice tail massage. They have very sensitive skin, and this is a great way for us to reinforce exceptional behavior and for us to build our relationships with our killer whales. Now blood samples are just one way that we can make sure that our whales are staying healthy. Another important diagnostic is weighing the whales. We weigh them every other week, and we're able to do that by asking them to slide their bodies up and out of the water onto a giant killer whale sized scale, just like this. Mikhail is our smallest whale. He weighs about 4,300 pounds. He's got a lot of growing left to do. You'll notice right now the portion of his body from his dorsal fin to his tail foot that's in the water. It's a very strong body part called his peduncle. It weighs several hundred pounds, so without the water, we wouldn't get an accurate weight. To solve that problem, we simply ask the whales to lift their tails up and out of the water. Avoid the fire. And this way, we can make sure that our younger whales continue to grow and our outer whales maintain a healthy body weight. And the care isn't just for whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt. For the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Hey, we're over here on the left hand side of the stadium. Observational learning and mimicry play a critical role in the life of killer whales. From the moment they're born, they learn necessary life skills by watching and playing follow the leader with their moms and other whales, and our whales play follow the leader with us too. So we're going to put that to the test for the entire left-hand side of the stadium today. Everybody on the left side, make sure you're wearing your mask and stand up. Up top two, stand on up. All right, on the count of three, we're all going to spin around in a circle and see if Trua can watch and mimic or copy us. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Spin in a circle. And we got it! All right! Nicely done! Very good. Have a seat. So you can see he was paying very close attention to you. They are super curious animals. Our whales frequently can be seen spy hopping or even jumping completely out of the water to get a better look around. We'll demonstrate that with a jump over the stage. Okay, when Truett does his jump, let's give him a great big cheer. one bigger and better over here. We're going to teach you the signal. The signal for a breach behavior. You're going to take two fingers out in front of you. On the count of three, we're going to swipe towards your left shoulder, okay? Everybody ready? Two fingers out. Ready? One, two, three, swipe. Okay, very good. So this is called a breach. Now, breaching is one way that killer whales can communicate with each other. It's basically their way of making their presence known and saying, I'm here. about these amazing animals. For example, we know that the gestation period of a pregnant killer whale is about 17 months. That's information that we- What?